Hey everybody, this is Edger Joe, and welcome to another video um, in my series on um, Game Maker 8 Lite. And in this new video, um, I will be starting a series on making a maze game. So potentially we'll be having three or four levels. Um, we'll have a splash screen at the start, um, like the whole the whole thing. So in this first video, I just want to show you um, some basics of how I approach um, actually designing mazes and um, we'll go from there. So I'll be assuming you watched the Bouncing Ball videos or you did the Bouncing Ball series. So let's get started with our process. So from before, you remember we always start with a sprite, change the sprite into an object so we can code it, and we put it into a room. Um, so for our room, um, we're just going to use the same uh, sprite as before, and that's going to be the wall sprite. So I'm going to change my name to sprite wall, I'm going to load my sprite and um, I'm going to use this one but if I just go up one I also have it I have some resources here and I should have my wall over here as well it's exactly the same one I just made some uh, collected some new sprites and then I'm going to keep the origin to center center which means 0 0 is the top left of um, the sprite if you change this your sprite will not appear correctly in your game uh, or may may not appear as you wish to have it appear so I'm going to click OK and I'm going to change that into a an object immediately so I'm going to say object wall uh, this is so that we can code it I'm going to say that I'm going to make it solid again just like in the bouncing ball game and I'm going to say uh, before I say OK I just want to make sure this fits nicely that is fine and I'm going to say OK right now we come to the nuts and bolts of this video and that is to create our room and just like before, we're going to change our grid to 32 by um, 32. And we're going to say that is fine. I'm just going to press enter. So we've got that. Our settings here, I'm going to change this slightly and I'll um, show you later why. Um, because every one, every single square is 32 by 32 so that my sprite um, can fit in properly. I just need to add 32 to this one um, and you will see uh, in a moment why actually what I'll do I'm gonna change my mind just quickly I'm just gonna give this a name I'm gonna say it's level one and I'm gonna say uh, let's call it um, hunting treasure hunting uh, or treasure hunt is probably a better tre uh, treasure hunt and that's gonna be level one and I need that capital T over there I'm gonna leave that the same go back to objects and I'm gonna show you what the problem is before I fix it I'm gonna select the object wall and I'm going to for now I'm just going to do the following um, I'm just gonna go like that I'm gonna make an outer perimeter and then I'm going to skip one make another perimeter like that oops I'll take that out like that and then another one that's obviously going way too fast for what I'm trying to do and um, then I'm going to now this is the bit that's not gonna work out fine so as you can see here we've got l we are left with one two three four five six six um, squares which means I can't have like a center bit to go in and for me that's what I want to do so um, I can't do that so that's why I need that extra um, line over here and that's why I wanted to change this um, to 672 which is 32 more um, so that I can fit in that last part over there so I'm just going to do that um, now I'm going to uh, whoops what am I doing I need to get back to objects and then I can do that one and then I can get rid of that and I can get rid of that there add this one in get rid of that one add this one in and then add those in and get rid of that one now you can see we've got one two three four five six seven so that means in the middle one the center one I can actually remove that um, if I want to okay so this is the basics what I normally do um, I start off and I create these perimeters all these rings going all the way to the center and then I start to say okay maybe I want to have a block there um, so that my uh, character my hero or whatever they ca can only move to there 
maybe I don't want it to go all the way around maybe I do want to I don't know um, but I could say right let me put one there so it can stop but then I want to go into the maze um, let's actually want to change that I'm going to change that to this one so I want to go into the maze here so that means if the character starts in the bottom corner you might want to put a treasure there maybe a treasure there and so on but um, anyway so let's carry on on this vein so let's say I want to open this one here maybe I want to close that one there so that means uh, and obviously you can do whatever you want I'm just sort of uh, doing this on the fly now um, I'm gonna open I want to close that one there so it can't go actually I'll do a little bit there maybe open this one so now it can't go through there it has to go left um, but I need another opening I'll make an opening there so my character can come in get some treasure definitely has to go in here collect some treasure um, I'm gonna do it like that so that it has to go through here to get up there um, I'm gonna do one there so that'll be my exit what else do I need so it's coming in he can go around there um, maybe I should keep that I'll keep that like that I'll make another one there and that means I'll just have a quick look I, the character can go everywhere 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 right looks like the character can go everywhere so I'm just gonna keep this my first level just like this so um, in the next video what I will show you is I'll probably start my hero my character here I'll play some treasure and then we'll get the movement um, of the uh, or I'll first do the character and just do the movement um, and then um, we'll see if we can get everywhere in terms of that so this is what I want uh, wanted to show you in the first video is you start off by making the rings of um, of walls and then you um, delete and add walls so that you start to create a maze. So now I've got a little bit of a maze going and in my mind I want to start here I want to have um, treasure all over the place and I want to finish off possibly on that top right hand side over there or I may want to start here and finish off here but place some treasures so that um, the character has to go all over the whole maze. I hope you enjoyed that video um, and I'll see you in the next video when I show you how to um, get the character to move. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.